What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean, and today we're taking another look at the EVOO gaming laptop. I'm going to install a 2 terabyte SSD, and then I'm going to show you some tweaks like undervolting the CPU and overclocking the GPU to improve the gaming performance. Alright, here we are on the desktop, and the first thing you want to do after you subscribe to the channel is look down in the description and find the link for the Sound Blaster Connect app. Now this is the sound app that was included on the overpowered laptop last year, and I think this does a better job. You can see right here what settings I'm ha I have it on. I have it on the music, um, these are my equalizer settings, I'm using these, um, speakers. I set it on custom and put the crossover frequency at 95 hertz. You could probably use the desktop or bookshelf also, it would be fine. Um, yeah, but I'm using that. And uh, kind of like the THX app, you have to start that up every time Windows starts. So to avoid having to do that, what you want to do is find the Sound Blaster Connect thing right here, drag it to the desktop then come down here and in the in the search type run and we're gonna where it says open type shell colon common startup and that's gonna open this folder right here and all we're gonna do is drag this shortcut into that folder hit continue and now Sound Blaster Connect is gonna start up every time Windows does and you have to do that it's kinda weird you have to do that because it's a uh, from the Windows Store it's not a regular EXE now here in Throttle Stop there's a whole bunch of different options I've clicked the Speed Shift EPP and it's set at 128 and then most of the stuff I changed is down here in the FIVR menu so click that, and uh, you want to click CPU core, and then unlock adjustable voltage, and I have mine at negative 120, and then also on the CPU cache, you unlock adjustable voltage, and I have mine on minus 110, and that's going to undervolt your CPU basically. And I've also lowered the turbo ratios. Um, to lower the heat on the processor, essentially giving up a little performance for better thermals. So I have the 6 core limit at 36, 5 cores at 37, 4 cores at 40, 3 cores at 42, 2 cores at 43, and 1 core at 44. And so basically you can set those and then down here click the OK save voltage immediately and then hit apply and OK. And then now you're undervolted and slightly underclocked and you're gonna get better CPU temperatures. You're gonna minimize that. And if you want throttle stop to run on startup, click down here in the search and type in task scheduler, task scheduler. And in here is the Windows task scheduler. And we're gonna say create task the name is going to be throttle stop
we're gonna click run whether run only when this user is logged on and run with the highest privileges for triggers we go to new and go to begin the task at logon pick your specific user hit OK now we're gonna go to actions new we're gonna have it start a program and we're gonna browse to throttle stop pick the exe file and hit open hit OK we're gonna check conditions we're gonna uncheck stop if the computer switches to battery power and start the task only if the computer is on AC power because undervolting is going to help you get better battery life so you really want it running all the time and then here on settings we're going to still allow it to be run on demand we're going to uncheck stop the task if it runs longer than three days then we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'll restart and hopefully both of those apps are going to start up with Windows. So here we go, Windows is loading up. and the Sound Blaster app started up all on its own. It doesn't start minimized, so I just go ahead and minimize it. I kind of like knowing that it's running though, so I kind of like that it pops up. Then if you look down here in the corner, you'll also see the little green T, and that shows that Throttle Stop started up with Windows, so that's exactly what we want. Okay, now for the last piece of the performance puzzle, uh, we have MSI Afterburner open, and we're going to do some GPU overclocking. So you want to go ahead and download and install Afterburner, and uh, on my system, I've raised the core clock by 160 megahertz, and I've raised the memory clock by 500 megahertz. Um, that's essentially going to raise it one gigabit per second on the memory and bring us close to desktop uh, clocks on the GPU. So I'll go ahead and start up a game and we'll see what it can do. So as you can see here in Skyrim, it's keeping the basically the base clock up above where the old boost clock was and it's fluctuating between like 2000 megahertz and 1700 megahertz and that's a significant performance increase. In the EVOO app, I have it set for turbo mode, and I have the fan boost set to off. And um, I think that just lets the fans spin up if they need to, if it gets really hot. And I think that lets it deliver a little more power to the GPU, because I seem to hit higher clock speeds when I'm on the turbo mode versus when I'm on the gaming mode even. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to have some affiliate links in the description below for SSDs and for the screwdriver and tool kit. Those can be really helpful when you're trying to take apart a laptop. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you are to catch the next videos, and we'll see you next time.